Hi everyone, I've got another Google Sheets tutorial here and uh, in this video what I, want to, what I want to do is demonstrate four sort of mathematical functions that are built into uh, pretty much every spreadsheet and definitely Google Sheets. So let's start by, let's just put in uh, some items here. So item and price. And again, I've did the same example I've used before. T-shirt, jacket, pants, I don't know, shoes, belt. And I'm going to put some numbers in. So my t-shirt maybe cost $27.99. Jacket, I don't know, $125. Bucks. Pants, $57. Shoes, $89. And my belt is going to be $17.50. Okay, what I would do now is I would turn this into currency by clicking this button. Okay, so now I've got some currency here. Now, just as a refresher, if I want to add up all of those numbers, the easiest way of doing it is just to create like a total box over here. And the formula I'm going to use here is equals sum, that's for addition. And I'm going to hit a bracket and I'm going to highlight all of these. That gives me the sum of all of those values. And this is a formula which is really nice because if anything in here changes, like say I got some pants that, you know, they're $90 instead, then my total changes. That's the idea. That's why you want to use formulas. Now let's say I want to find some other things. So maybe I want to figure out the biggest expense I have. So the largest item, or, or most expensive item I should say, let's put it that way. Most expensive item. And the way that I would do that, I'm just going to stretch my column out just so it looks a bit better. There's a function. So if you think about like what, it, what am I looking for, I'm looking for the maximum item, right? The biggest one. So if you hit equals, and it, it sometimes it even suggests it. it, like it's smart enough to know that I'm looking for the most expensive item and it actually suggests it's max, right? So that's the function I want to use. I want to use max. So equals max bracket and then you highlight your things exactly the same way what you do with the sum. Close the bracket, hit enter. It tells me my, most, my biggest number was 125. It doesn't tell me it's a jacket. There are other ways of doing that, but right now it gives me the, uh, the biggest expense like that. I can do the same thing with the least expensive or the smallest expense. Least expensive item. Oops. Expensive item. And if you think this function's max, what do you think the opposite is? Probably minimum, right? So equals min, and it's already suggesting it to me. Equals min, and we highlight the cells, close the bracket, enter. The minimum item was 1750. Okay, another one, I'm going to show you two more. Another one that's very, very common is average. So the average expense. So you might need to figure out, like, you know, say you've got a bunch of heights of people or weights, you might want to do their average, right? And the average, the easiest way of doing it is to use the function built in. So it equals average right here. It gives you the numeric average value in a data set. So equals average bracket, and you highlight your cells. Close the bracket, and there you go. So that's the average expense right now, and that's a live average. So if anything here changes, this will also change. Be very careful when you make these formulas. Don't include the total. Sometimes people will make the formulas and they'll highlight everything, and they'll say that the, the max expense is 349. Be really careful, okay, when you make these things. So this is looking really good so far. I got max, min, and average. Last one I want to do is, is called count. I'm going to say number of expenses. And that function is going to equal count. So equals count. And what it does is it counts the number of numeric values in a data set. So it's count, bracket, and then I highlight these. This is going to tell me the count is five because I have five items right here. Um, it seems kind of pointless, right? But where it occurs sometimes is that Let's say you've got a, uh, a whole pile of expenses and we actually don't know how many we're going to have. And we're going to have, we're going to maybe have some, we're going to type them in and then maybe one or two might get deleted. Like say the shoes got deleted, right? Because, oh, I changed my mind. Well, it automatically, it tells me now that there was four items instead of five. So it's like a live tally. And what you can do is you can highlight big sections of, of it. So like, um, so even if I got stuff like this with a bunch of gaps in it, 
it can still tell me the count of that. Of that right there. So it's still telling me that there's eight in this in this section right here. So it's not a formula that I use often, but it is useful in certain situations. And it's always nice to know how many records you have or how many items you have or whatever um, in an expense sheet. And that's the way you can do it. So count basically tells you how many cells include values in them. Max is for your biggest items. Min is for the smallest items. And average is for your average item. So these are just a few little uh, mathematical functions you should know. Very, very basic. There's way, way more than just this. But that these are some of the more common ones here. So I'm just going to save my spreadsheet as math functions demo. And that is it for this video. So again, I want to show you max, min, average, and count, and how to use them in a spreadsheet.